Hello everyone, welcome to They Breathe. This is the first game from the developers, The Working Parts, and as the official description goes, you play a lone frog who descends into the depths of a flooded forest, not yet knowing the full extent of its tragedy. To survive in a brutal, oxygen-obsessed ecosystem, you must help it see the patterns and hidden truths that make up the system, horrible as they may be. This game is available from multiple places, including Desora, I'll have links to all that in the description. So I kind of found out about this game through a weird way. I hadn't heard about it, hadn't read any reviews about it. I just was looking over a site that was having a sale, just browsing over all the cover images for the different games, and I came across the cover image for this one. And it's that image that pretty much sold me on playing it. I'll show it to you right now. This image here is just... It's so good. It's the kind of image I would actually like to have on my wall. It's just so... I love it. It's so depressing and, and moody and atmospheric. I think it's really awesome. As soon as I saw that, I knew I wanted to play it. So as is usual, I like to analyze the games I play a bit. You know, think about them. Which I will be doing throughout, and especially towards the end. However, it's going to be much more towards the end for this game, I think, because... From what I've seen, from playing it for a couple minutes just to make sure it works and getting the hang of the controls, it moves at a breakneck pace. So I doubt I'm going to be able to... Pardon the pun, I doubt I'm going to be able to slow down and take a breath to really examine anything while playing it. I'm mostly going to be fighting for my life constantly every single second, pretty much. Also, this game is on Steam Greenlight. I'll have a link to that in the description, so if you'd like to see this game on Steam, I'm sure the developers would very much appreciate a vote for it. Alright. Oh. So let me press restart instead of resume, and let's get going. Into the water! Whee! And here we go. One final hint, press space to swim faster. So, we're going down, or the water's going up, or both. This will be the last time I can see the surface. Right, so I need to, uh, from what I've seen, I need to collect air bubbles so that I don't, well, drown. Alright, here we go. I'll never see the surface again. It looks like you continuously go down. Okay, okay. So these frogs need to be saved. And you can do that by pushing them into air bubbles. It's kind of difficult though. It's kind of, oh god, it's kind of really difficult. Oh, there we go. They're safe. They're safe. Yeah, it's really difficult to push them into it. As far as I can tell, this game never stops, basically. You always need air, you're always trying to push the frogs into the air bubbles. And that flash of light that just came. Something's... Yep, there it is. An underwater cow moose bovine thing. I don't know what it is, but it wants to eat me. It doesn't want to hug. It's not nice. So that... This is pretty much as far as I've played, just to get a handle on the basics. So I'm a frog? in a forest that is uh, completely submerged in water. Attempting to find air bubbles and stay alive. And protect my froggy buddies. Oh, I just saw another flash. Oh, there's another one. Oh god. They can- oh god, it charges. They actually- oh, they go for the frogs, no! Oh. My froggy friend is dead! You strangling moose underwater thing, what are you? What? I thought it's already dead. Are, are you seriously strangling a dead body? That's really low. Whoa. They can charge pretty fast. Holy crap! Ow. Okay, not good. I can't see myself. Where am I? I th oh, I'm not dead. Not quite dead. Not quite dead. Not quite I, I think I'm about to die. No, no, no. I'm actually okay. Okay. Whew. I think I survived the wave.
Yeah, trying to save those other frogs when there's enemies about is <laughs> good luck. Oh god, we have to do it again. Oh, I got him one. I actually saved one! <gasps> yes! Oh, the other one's not doing too good. I think it's dead. I don't even know where it went. I think it's dead. Ow. Ow. Jesus, those things can charge. That big bubble. All right, what are you gonna throw at me next? What the hell? What? Do I avoid those? Uh, yes, I do avoid those. They're hurting me. <laughs> okay. Just had to make sure. I didn't know. Oh, now they're green. Ow. Oh crap. They slow me down. They slow me down. They slow me down. Alright, so now I have to avoid bad air bubbles. Oh crap. How- so, the name of the game is They Breathe. I wonder if it's talking about the enemies. Because they do breathe underwater. How? How are they doing that? Oh no, my friend! Oh god, there's no way I can save you. I'm sorry. No way. Ow. Yeah, okay, I think I'm screwed. Get off me. Get off me! I, I, I think I'm just dead. How am I not dead yet? I've got to be dead. Oh no, I got a bubble. Wait, did I just... Did I just kill one of them? It looks like one of them just died. How did I do that? Strange. I wonder if normal air, normal oxygen... Hurts them. That is a jellyfish that looks like it's made out of the same material. The same hide as whatever the thing before it was. Okay, it's pretty fast. In fact, it's almost as fast as me. Oh god. Yeah. Okay, so I can... Oh, I can guide it. And I need air. Air. There we go. Oh, fuck. Get off me. Alright, it looks like it picks up speed over time. Oh god, oh god! Oh. Is there anything I can do to avoid it picking up speed? Oh, whoa, it just got slowed down by the air, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah! Oh, ew. What the hell? I'm guessing I don't want to touch those. Alright, so normal oxygen is... ...damaging... ...to these creatures. Interesting. I'm gonna take this brief... ...brief time to take a sip before I die. Mmm. Wonderful tea. Am I dead yet? No, I'm not dead. Woke up! I didn't know that was down there. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, uh, I think we might have a problem. I think we might have a problem. I think we might have a slight problem. I kinda need oxygen right about now. Touch it, touch it, touch, no. Okay, 
bubble, 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 bubble. Ah. Whoa. Instead of a chain reaction. Oh, no, no. Did I just die? I just, you. I think his head just came off, but anyway, I died. <laughs> okay, apparently the cow, moose, bovine things are actually like jellyfish, but with heads? Detachable? Ew. What the hell? Alright, so I need to run them into the air bubbles. Got it. Let's move them over to the side here. Yep, there's another one there. Air bubble. Yep. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's someone's gonna explode soon. You better, because I'm about to get I'm about to be in a very bad spot. Gotta move to the right, move to the right, move to the right. I don't even know where I am. I'm off the screen. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so the big bubble sets off a chain reaction. Interesting. Okay, there. There we go. Ew, those little hands. Excellent. Ah, oh, almost. One more. There we go. Okay, I kind of want to touch these hand things just to see what they do. Okay, they hurt me. Pretty much what I expected. Look at the art in the background. Look at how how much everything's moving. It's really cool. Here comes more. Oh, my friends. All right, you got to run them into these things. There we go. One just got hit. Okay. So start I'm sorry. Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't focus on him. It's, I, there's no way. I have to focus on just killing the stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Oh, not quite. I think I think he's dead. Damn it. It's dead. Ew. <laughs> that is really strange. I did think they looked kind of alike, but yeah, it looks like they are the same thing. Detachable. Ew. Wait, is that healing them? I think it's actually healing them. Damn it. It is. How do I avoid that? Just get lucky with multiple bubbles being close enough that it hits one of them before that happens? Like this, for example? There we go. Uh, never mind. And, oh god. <sighs> I wonder if there's something I'm missing. Alright, let me see if I can save you, I guess. No, no. God, I don't think I can. Oh, wait, I did. Oh, I did save him. Okay, cool. Some invisible bubbles down there. Yeah. A lot of bubbles here, huh?
It's such a strange thing, the way they're switching body parts. Whoa. Okay, the cow thing just died. I'm not sure from what. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, obviously, I obviously still haven't figured them out completely. Mmm, what are those things? They attack me. Oh no, I'm going down. I'm going into the... cave? Or whatever this is. Looks like an underwater cave. I better not hang out near the bottom. A friend. I'll save you. Maybe. No! You bastard. There we go. Oh, you're safe. You're safe. Go away. Okay. Gigantic green jellyfish thing. Alright, what's next? Alright, this is a bad start. If there's, I'm sorry, there's no way I can save you. There, there's no way. I don't even know what's happening. I'm just avoiding- oh god. I'm just avoiding getting hit. Once again, I got hit by something, but I don't know what. And I noticed some of them were somehow turning... I think they were turning air bubbles green. I wonder if that interacts with... with other creatures in some way. You're gonna be okay, you're gonna be okay. Maybe. The other one's not gonna be okay, but you're gonna be okay. Possibly. Where I don't even know where you are. Where'd you go? Okay, you're actually probably not gonna be okay. I'm sorry. What if I hit you? Oh, I can move you. Interesting. Oh, God. Damn jellyfish. Ah, before he gets healed. That's not going to happen anytime soon at this rate. Okay, okay, I think I got it. Uh, oh, no. Almost had it. These damn jellyfish. I actually wish they were faster. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Got it, got it, got it, got it. One more, one more, yeah. Then the other thing died again. Hmm. I'm hearing a heart beating sound effect. 
but I don't appear to need air, so I'm kind of worried. What the hell is that? What the fuck? My... My friends. All of my froggy friends. It's like they're petrified. What the hell? I think I, I think I need to break this thing, maybe. These ones are still alive. This game is really dark. I love it. Just a pile of frogs. The weird thing is, they actually look kind of happy. Their bodies look like they're smiling, don't they? I wonder if I just need to keep doing this? Just keep killing them before I need to do something special. I'm amassing a large pile of stuff. Whoa. What did I just do? I don't know what I just did, but I'm kind of scared now. What did I just do? They just died. From what? Oh god, it's defending itself. Do I just need to wait them out? You just wait a certain amount of time and they die? think you do. Huh. Wait, did one of those frogs just come free to form the head of the jellyfish? Oh my god! I just realized the head of the jellyfish thing is a fucking frog. What the hell? I think I just lost. <laughs> I just... Oh my god, I just realized that. I didn't notice that. Do I have to start the whole thing again? Damn it. The heads of those things are the frogs. The heads are the frogs. What the hell?
Yeah, the the eyes are the the hands of the frog. I can't believe it took me this long to realize that. I guess you wait them out because the frogs can't live forever. They need to breathe, which is why they die. Wait, so maybe I need to avoid them from hitting the air. And that's how they die. Avoid them from hitting the air pockets. Maybe it helps them. I think I do need... I, I guess I just need to get all the air pockets so they don't, they don't get them. Also, I should stay away from the bottom, because then if they drag me down there, that's what causes me to lose rather fast. Alright, one's dead. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm starting to get it. What next? Okay, I'm kind of stuck here. Whew. There we go. One down. There we go. Okay, what next? Another jellyfish thing. Didn't actually mean to keep getting stuck like that. Ah, get off of me. Uh oh. I don't know if that's a good thing, whatever I just did or not. Maybe I'm supposed to, I think I'm supposed to do that. I think I'm supposed to get all the frogs off. So what if I do it again? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. This isn't good. This, this, this is very, very bad. Oh, no. I've lost. Rest in pieces. Please don't tell me I have to do the whole thing again. Are you serious? <sighs> oh. Okay, well, now I have more of an idea of what to do. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cut to the point till I get to, like, right next to the end. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I maybe have this. We're back here. There's one... One frog left. Alright, let's try this. Come on. Come on. Okay. I think it worked. Oh, that's the end? Wow, that was a lot shorter than I thought. I knew it was pretty short, but... Okay, I guess I defeated the great... beast... feeding off of us frogs. Or... something.
I actually like the fact that it was that short. I think that's a, that's a good idea, because uh, I think the idea definitely could have very easily become... ...just overdone. Too much of it. But the fact that it's about a half hour long, it actually feels... ...perfect. That was really cool. And that last boss was really difficult. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they breathe. Well, I managed to save some. No. Oh, hidden gallery at the working parts. The password is jelly. Neat. So yeah, I actually think that was a very good length. You could definitely overdo that and just have it hours and hours of the same sort of thing, but I like the fact that it's such a a short and condensed game. Because it feels like it's not... It's not extended too long, it's not trying to waste my time or anything like that, or not trying to pad it out. It's exactly as long as it needs to be, which is great. That's a really good game. I'm actually surprised how much I liked it. I knew I would like the art just from what I'd seen, and it seemed like a really cool and creepy idea. But I didn't realize I'd like the, the gameplay so much. And yeah, that last boss took me five to ten tries. It was actually really, really difficult. That was so cool. Yeah, I like how it... I like how mysterious it is, and the fact that it doesn't explain how the things work in the world, but it's left up to you to figure it out, and you pretty much have to figure it out to be able to actually progress. So my understanding of, of these creatures that I was encountering just kept growing and growing. From at first there's this weird bovine thing to there's a jellyfish thing, and then I realized, oh, they can swap heads. And then I realized, oh, the heads are us. It's the frogs. It just Really, really cool and creepy. You know, now that I think of it, now I'm kind of paranoid that I said frogs instead of toads or toads instead of frogs. So I, f I totally forgot which one are we. We're... We're a frog. Okay. I totally forgot the difference between a toad and a frog. Just like a turtle and a tortoise. I don't remember. But yes, we're frogs. And apparently we're feeding the great machine thing. And just the interplay between the two different creatures. You have the jellyfish, which will actually explode from oxygen. And then you have the, the frog-bovine-jellyfish combos, who actually need to have no oxygen. I think that's really cool, just the way they, they interacted together. And the fact that you have to discover it for yourself is really nice. I like the fact that there's no hand-holding. It's great. It felt really satisfying to figure that out. It's just a good little game. I, I think I'm actually very surprised that they didn't pat it out because it's a very common thing to do in games. But they didn't, and major kudos to them for not. I believe games should always be as long as they need to be. If, and they need to be being however long, you know, it takes to explore the ideas you're trying to explore. And that's exactly what they did. Very cool. Yeah, I really liked it. I'm surprised with myself how much I liked it, and I'm surprised how good it was. I thought it'd be pretty good. I didn't think it'd be really good. But it is. Alright, well, I guess I'll end it here. I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of They Breathe. Thank you for watching, and don't forget that it is on Steam Greenlight, so again, if you like the game and you'd like to support them, and get them on Steam, which I'm sure they would very much appreciate, then make sure to vote for it. So, once again, thank you for watching.